Hello guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about coronary artery disease. Everyone under the sound of my voice, listen to me. So before we continue, I hope you're liking, I hope you're sharing our videos, and I hope you're following us. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? Coronary artery disease are those issues that are affecting the blood vessels around the heart, those blood vessels that supply blood to the heart. You see that blood vessel, when something blocks it or it's going smaller, small, it becomes a problem to the heart because blood will not be supplied to the heart again. It, it never is like that now. And eventually, the heart begins to die because there is no blood supply to it. The heart muscles begin to die. As it goes on, the heart can no longer perform the functions it used to. That leads to heart failure and you start calling village people. Again. Nothing will tell me. Now you may ask, what causes this coronary artery disease, right? Anyways, there are so many things that causes it, you understand. But 70% points finger to unhealthy diets. The diet I mean is you that is eating so much cheese, biscuits, too much cake. For some of you that can't do with that cake, every wedding you go, you must eat cake. And for some of us that like meat, meat that contains fat. <laughs> your coconut oil and your palm oil and many other saturated fats you take in <laughs> so all these things elevate your cholesterol level and poses a risk before you know it fat begins to deposit in those blood vessels and it starts to block it gets to a point that blood can't get to the heart again and it becomes a problem those innocent heart muscles begin to die yeah, but here are some tips that you can use. With these tips, you can reduce your chances of having coronary heart disease. One, eat low saturated fats and eat more of fiber diets like vegetables, fresh fruits, and whole grain. Minimize butter, cheese, cake, and even meat pie. So this world is sharper than a two-edged sword. You have to give up smoking. It hardens the blood vessels. Reduce alcohol intake. Instead, drink water. If you have diabetes, you are at greater risk of developing coronary heart disease. So watch it, control it. You have to become more active. You don't always have to book a taxi. You don't always have to get into a bus to get to your workplace. I encourage you to jog. I encourage you to run. Even join the gym sections, okay? In this way, you can reduce your risk of developing coronary heart disease. If you want to know more, send me a DM. Don't forget to subscribe. And follow us even on TikTok.